After a two month break, the NASCAR Cup Series returns to action. Race number five of the season brings the field to the Lady in Black, the Darlington Raceway, for the first race back from the coronavirus pandemic. The 40 drivers of the NASCAR Cup Series field are ready to roll from one of the most historic tracks on the NASCAR Cup Series schedule. And today, here on Kemu on YouTube, we're going to take a look at everything you need to know before the 400 miles from the Darlington Raceway. In case you forgot how we got to this point in the season, let's take a look back at your 2020 recap. In the Daytona Bush Clash, the non-points race, Eric Jones picked up the win, surviving the carnage in a car that was heading for the dumpster. And then in the Daytona Duel number one, Joey Logano secured himself a third place Daytona 500 starting spot. Duel number two went to the driver to 24, William Byron, earning his non-official first NASCAR Cup Series win. Then in the Daytona 500, Denny Hamlin picked up his first a great American race win in his second in a row. It was off to Las Vegas where Joey Logano in the Pennzoil number 22 won the race for the second year in a row, putting that 22 car at the top of the point standings. Then down in Auto Club, Alex Bowman absolutely smoked the field, dominating in his Cincinnati number 88 for his second Cup Series win. And from Phoenix, our most recent event, Joey Logano picked up his second checkered flag of the season, securing him once again in the victory lane and into those postseason playoffs with now 10 bonus points. Let's take a look at your point standings where Kevin Harvick actually actually sits happy on top of the standings with a one-point lead over that two-time winner, Joey Logano, who's obviously locked into the playoffs. The Napa Auto Parts number 9 of Chase Elliott sits third in points right now with his three stage wins and his teammate Alex Bowman right behind him in fourth. Another teammate one of those Hendrick cars is Jimmy Johnson, fifth place in points in what will be his final season. Then Ryan Blaney setting sixth place in points after finishing last in the last race out at Phoenix he was leading the point standings. Kyle Larson, 7th place in points, but after losing his ride during all of this, he will fall out of the playoffs once the green flag flies. Then it's the 10 of Eric Almirola, who's tied with Larson, and Matt DiMinodeno sitting right below them at plus 30. Tied with former series champion Brad Keselowski, who has that one stage win on the season. Denny Hamlin, your Daytona 500 winner, sits low in the point standings at 11th position, and defending Series champion Kyle Busch at plus 23, tied with his teammate. Then it's Clint Boyer and Chris Busher, a solid group of forwards at plus 17 and plus 14, respectively. And Martin Truex Jr. finds himself just eight points in to a playoff spot. In your 16th and final playoff position right now is the driver to number one, Kurt Busch. Sitting right outside the playoff spot is the 47 of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And Bubba Wallace in that 43, he's tied with William Byron and Austin Dillon only 13 points out of a playoff spot in that number three car. Let's take a look at your TV schedule from the Darlington Raceway. On Sunday, May 17th, you have at 3.30 p.m. the 2020 Darlington 400 on Fox. Now let's take a look at your 40 driver NASCAR Cup Series entry list as they will take to the Darlington Raceway. For Starcom Racing, driving the unit storage double zero Chevy, rookie of the year contender Quinn Hoff. And for Chip Ganassi Racing, it's their duo with Chevys. In the Monster Energy number one is former series champion, the outlaw Kurt Busch. And driving the Credit One Bank number 42 Chevy, it's going to be former series champion making his return turn to NASCAR, Matt Kenseth. For Team Penske, it's a trio of Fords, with the driver of the number two discount tire being Brad Kislowski. Then for the Menards Duracell number 12, it's young Ryan Blaney. And driving the Shell Pennzoil number 22, he has two wins on the season, and he is your second place in points driver. That's going to be Joey Logano. For Richard Childress Racing, driving the Simba Court number three, it's driver Austin Dillon. And in the Caterpillar number eight, it's Daniel Hemrick. Then for Stuart Haas Racing, a quartet of Ford Mustangs. The Bush Light number four will see driver Kevin Happy Harvick. And for the Smithfield number 10, A squared Eric Amarola. Driving to number 14, Rush Truck Center's Mobile One Ford, it's Emporia, Kansas's Clint Boyer. And for the Haas Tooling CNC number 41, rookie of the year driver Cole Custer, who won the Xfinity Series race here last season. For Roush Fenway Racing, it's their duo of Fords. In the Cuck Industries, 
number six, marking his return to the track for the first time after a scary crash at Daytona. It's the Rocket Man, Ryan Newman. And for the fast nail, number 17, Prosper Texas's Chris Buescher. Then for Tommy Baldwin Racing, marking their season debut, driving the gravely number seven Chevy, it's Josh Balicki. And for Hendrick Motorsports, a quartet of Chevy entries. The Napa Auto Parts number nine will see former Xfinity Series winner here, Chase Elliott. And for the Exalta number 24, it's William Byron. At the wheel of the Ally number 48, he's a seven time Series champion, a three time winner at this track, Jimmy Johnson. And for the Chevy Goods Norco number 88, your Chicago and Speedway winner, Alex Bowman. For Joe Gibbs Racing, it's their quartet of Toyota Camrys. In the number 11 FedEx Toyota Camry, it's Denny Hamlin, your Daytona 500 winner. And for the M&M's Red Nose Day, number 18, defending series champion Kyle Busch. The Bass Pro Shops, number 19, will see 2016 Darlington 500 winner Martin Truex Jr. And for the D-Wall, number 20, it's the Jones boy, Eric Jones, your defending race winner of the Southern 500. For Jermaine Racing, at the wheel of the Geico, number 13 Chevy, it's going to be Ty Dillon. And for the Premium Motorsports, number 15, Spartan Mosquito Chevy, rookie of the year driver, Brandon Poole. Then for the Wood Brothers, driving the iconic number 21 Ford Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center, Ford Motocraft Ford, it's going to be Matt the Benedetto. And for Go Fast Racing, at the wheel of the Dry Dean, number 32, it's Super Shoes, Corey LaJoy. For Front Row Motorsports, it's a duo of Ford entries with the Love Travel Stops, number 34, seeing Michael McDowell. And in the Sick Guard Engine Oil, number 38, rookie driver John Hunter Nemechek. Then for JTG Darty Racing, driving the number 37 Cottonelle Chevy, it's going to be Ryan Priest. And for the Kroger, number 47, it's Ricky Stenhouse Jr. For Richard Petty Motorsports, driving the iconic U.S. Air Force, number 43 Chevy, it's Bubba Wallace. And for Rick Ware Racing, it's their trio of drivers. In the number 51, it's going to be driver Joey Gase. And for the number 52 entry, Garrett Smithley. At the wheel, the number 53, the team's full-time driver, J.J. Yaley. Then for MBM Motorsports, Driving the RoofClaims.com, number 66, Toyota. He's your 2020 unofficial iRacing Pro Invitational Series champion, Timmy Hill. For Spire Motorsports, at the wheel of the number 77 Chevy, it's veteran Reed Sorensen. And then making the Cup Series debut for BJ McLeod Motorsports in the number 78 Chevy, team owner BJ McLeod. For Levine Family Racing, driving the Ream Procore number 95 Toyota Camry, rookie of the year driver Christopher Bell. And for Gaunt Brothers Racing in a Toyota certified these vehicles, number 96 Toyota Camry, Monterey, Mexico's Daniel Suarez. Let's Take a look at your Sunoco rookie contenders of the race. The Starcom Racing Double Zero has driver Quinn Hoff. While the Richard Childress Racing Number 8 sees Daniel Hemrick. Premium Motorsports will be bringing driver Brandon Poole, while Front Row Motorsports has John Hunter Nemechek. Stuart Haas Racing will have Cole Custer and Levine Family Racing with Christopher Bell. Now, let's take a look at your Darlington Raceway driver odds. Some of your contenders, two drivers top the odds at 5-1. to one. That's the driver of the number 4, Kevin Happy Harvick, and the number 18 of Kyle Busch. We also have value at the 7-1 to one category with two other drivers. That would be the driver to number 22, the two-time winner this season, Joey Logano, and in the number 11, Denny Hamlin. And at the 8-1 to one spot, in the number 19, it's Martin Truex Jr. Some of your value picks, drivers with no better than 100-1 to one odds, that would be the driver of the number 3, Semicourt Chevy, Austin Dillon, and then in the number 41, Cole Custer, and for the number 47, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. All three of those drivers with 100-1 to one odds, but can bring solid value to your fantasy team. At 80-1, to one, it's two other drivers that have value. Value to your team and the number eight rookie Daniel Hemrick, and then for the number 17 Chris Busher. Now let's take a look at your race stats. The field's going to go for 293 laps or 400 miles around the 1.5 mile Darlington Raceway. Stage 1 will be 90 laps, stage 2 at 95, and the final stage will be 108 laps. Don't forget to catch the 2020 Darlington 400 Sunday, May 17th, 2020 at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this NASCAR Cup Series race preview video. For more motorsports content, you can click my latest upload on the left, the circle in the middle to subscribe, and check out that video on the right. It's one you don't want to miss. You can follow me on Twitter at Chemo Cup Series with another motorsports video. This has been Chemo on YouTube saying thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.